up, everybody? Welcome to Playing Dead, IGN's somewhat regular Walking Dead show where we spoil everything about the Telltale series. Today we're spoiling episode four, so this is your chance to get out while you still can. All right, good. Thanks for taking a ride. <gasps> Melissa, Gavin. Hi. Thank you so much for coming back. You're both returning to Playing Dead, and you're both the first time I've ever had two voice actors in the same panel. I know. It's weird. Yeah, yeah what's up? Yeah. So, I'll start with you, Gavin. Okay. What's Kenny's goddamn problem lately? Like, okay. cause like, it, you here's know, the... <laughs> I think that he's kind of a broken guy. He's he's had to deal with a lot of stuff. Sure. And he totally lashed out at Clem. I I, I think that he sort of will make it up to her, perhaps in some way. Mm -hmm. But he will apologize in some way. Okay. See, and I, you know, you know, it's totally. A, just kind of here's, off the cuff. Here's the control. thing you know, is that I'm, I'm a Kenny boy. I love Kenny. I know. I've been Kenny from episode one, season one. And so you make it. it hard to love you when you do stuff like this. You know what I mean? Clem I walks up and she's like, hey, yeah. sorry about your girlfriend. Yeah. And then you just got to bite her head off anyways. I did. I actually, when we were recording that scene, I, I think I texted her one of the lines. And she's like, what the? <laughs> it was a little bit surprising that, yeah. you know, that was such a huge reaction. <laughs> but, you know, I think it was just to... Make an example of how broken he really has sure. become. I think sure. Luke is right, and he's kind of a broken guy, and yeah. he's had to deal with so much, and then losing Sarita in that instant. He didn't. I mean, he doesn't handle that well in any way, shape, mm -hmm. or form. Mm -hmm. It's like he tries to keep her alive, even if you know nothing happens to her. It's yeah. it's all bad. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know. Do you approach the character then? I mean, in a different way, right? Because like now that you we. It's it's clear like the whole baby thing at the end with Rebecca too, right? Yeah. Where it's like give the you're being creepy, man. Yep. Give her the baby, and he's like, am I being creepy? Oh, I guess I, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> do you have to start in your head ratcheting it up a bit and being a little bit more, or, I guess, worn honest down? to God, I've been trying to do that all season because mm -hmm. you know when the first time that he comes back and and he's like, this is all a dream, you know, yeah. and he laughs about it or something like that. It was like, okay, yeah, well, it's a little too creepy, so let's pull it back. And I'm like, <laughs> oh man. So I've always been trying to make it as creepy as possible and just as weird and out there as possible. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they use, but it's just kind of what options I try to cover. Sure. So, so then Clem this episode. I, I don't, here's the, I talked, you know, last week we were nice enough to have Christine on, Christine Lakin. She came on, playing mm -hmm. Jane. Who I haven't met yet. No. Hopefully I will. You don't meet anybody, apparently. That's your problem. No. Season we two meet each is other. like the season of not knowing. That's why <laughs> I'm like, kidding. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I say, I say yeah. it just like that, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's your fun <laughs> voice. Yeah, I can't. Right. They just, they pitch it up and down. And Anyways. My thing with Jane is I like the character I just don't, it's the first time in this uh, season where, the, or I guess even franchise, right, where there's been the voice of reason and I don't want to listen to yeah. her. Because Jane's like, dump Kenny, Kenny's crazy, go away, go away. And I'm like, no, I love, I said I was going to be with Kenny forever. Yeah. Well, it's kind of weird because as Melissa Hutchison playing The Walking Dead, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm all like, I can't, I can't. Like my Clementine would, regardless of whatever headspace he's in, she would stick with him. Because right. that's just, I know, I love that's you, family. man. We are, and we are. Um, beyond, as yeah. my Clementine and my Kenny are family. So even though Jane is, like, you know, coming forward and teaching her all these things on how to survive, yeah. and she's obviously the super strong, independent woman that Clementine could really benefit from, um, I still, as myself... When I play the game, yeah. I'm still kind of like, well, but Kenny, I gotta, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's weird, and as playing as Clementine, you know, obviously we have the different uh, dialogue choices. So it is interesting uh, to tr transition in between talking to Jane and, and as Clementine being like, yeah, I'm liking what you're doing. Yeah, Kenny might be, woohoo, you know. <laughs> but in my own head, I'm like, no. That's not, not the true Clementine, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No. That's not the so real it's it's uh it's it's been interesting and I'm interested to <clears throat> interested to see where that goes. Yeah, I wonder where that's going. No, me too. If only we knew hmm. that season finale, which is coming so soon. So soon. <laughs> uh, that's the best we're gonna be yes. able to get out of it. Uh, I guess now that we're there, we're we're you know we have one episode left. We just finished the penultimate. What as actors I, and an actress? What are you, what what are you feeling right now in terms of it? Right, we always talk about the fact that you know you didn't know until late in the game like Clem was going to be a part of season two ever. Right? right now we're at this point where, and I'm sure you guys know more than I do. Hopefully, I'm, I don't know how much they've kept you in the dark. Are are you are you are you are you worrying? Are you fretting about what happens from here on out? What happens in the finale? What happens to your character? Why why am I not why why do I not get a playable Kenny in season three? <laughs> mm. More specifically. <laughs> 
Uh, I am not, uh, not so much, but uh, I don't know. It's it's been fun, and I think it's you never really count on a gig to last terribly long. Sure. So it's something where I don't know. It's just fun to be involved, and if it works out and something you know, and there's something that happens in the future, right, awesome. Right. You know, if not, then not. You know, it's fun to be involved. So. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, as what he said, as, yeah, you yeah. know, we don't. Well, he doesn't count. He's got like nine lives. You get, yeah. your, you get your head <laughs> right. beaten by Carver. They're like, well, he's going to have brain damage. And, he'll never, and he's like, no, let's go. I'm, I'm, up. I'm fine. Let's go. Yeah. Damn, yeah. man. I, know, I, right? I definitely yeah. have a way, I mean, a deep connection with Clementine. And yeah. Because she is the playable character in the season. I, it's, I mean, I truth, honestly, I don't know what's happening. If season three was announced, uh -huh. but I don't know what's. Yeah, happen I don't Clem think anybody and... knows in any way, shape, or form. Right. Well, somebody over there knows. But I'm God, always so. rooting for her. Yeah, I know. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, shoot, we, gotta, we gotta do this thing eventually. Better not paint ourselves a into months. a corner. I know. That's right. They're not really involved in that much stuff right now. Yeah. So yeah. I think there's probably... They got one game franchise to worry about. Yeah. That's pretty much vacation. it. Yeah, yeah, they're just chilling. <laughs> yeah, vacation. My ties. Uh, so, you both came on at the beginning of season two, and a lot of what we talked about was, of course, the fan reaction for season one. Obviously, stuff like cosplay, fan letters, the fact that everybody uh, connected with this game so much. What has that been like since then? Has, have you seen that deviate? Like, I mean, Kenny's gotten a little bit loopier and made choices that piss yeah. us off. And then Clem, of course, is becoming this independent woman, right, who is growing in a different way. And, you know, my Clem's kind of a badass and doesn't want to hear your crap. And like, Sassy Clem. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When Jane's all like, I'm glad I taught you that. It's like, well, motherfucker, Lee taught me everything. <laughs> yeah, all right, right. Back off how much you <laughs> taught me, lady, all right? Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, for me, I, I get... You know, I, at the beginning, I got way more sort of fan mail than yeah. hate mail. Now it's almost equal. You know, it's sort of, I get a lot of hate mail about, you know, and mainly just because of this sort of, you know, this contrived Luke versus Kenny thing. Sure. Which, you know, is that initial choice. It all started you know, at the picnic table. It all starts at the picnic table. And so since then, it's kind of always been like, well, Luke's way better than you. And he makes more money than you do. And it's just kind of like... <laughs> Uh, okay, I really That's have awesome. no control over yeah, any yeah, of that yeah. sort of stuff. I'm just trying to do my best to play a character. And I want him to be weird and crazy and messed up, you know? I mean, it's because he should be after all he's kind of been through. Right. Mm. Um, so I've definitely seen the spectrum change. But, you know, I still get plenty of people that seem happy to be on board sure. the Kenny train. Yeah, all aboard the Kenny train. Toot toot. Toot toot. toot. Yeah. Not, the Ken not the one from season one where no. he's drunk and... In well, he won't just using the controls. move a foot. Let me grab the map, Kenny. Yeah, you're you're right. Why do I have? To, why do I have to dope you? Like, okay, hey, there's a rock. Go over and get the rock, man. No, yeah. Just give me no, the map. No. What about for you? Have you seen different fan um, reactions? You know, no. How can anybody I hate Clem? Yeah, exactly. Nobody hates Clem. It's honestly, if anything, it's just gotten progressively. Because season one, people were like, "Wow, you, wow, you're an actual, you're an adult woman who does his voice." Yeah. That's cool. She's a really cute character. I, I can't believe how much I want to save her and never thought I'd want to, like, save a kid. I don't know. That, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Um, I, for one, want to save game. every kid yeah. in the world. <laughs> um, but uh, it's just with the transition of her becoming more badass yeah. and... Uh, it's it's the same. I don't, I don't get any, like, you know, why would Clem say... I guess there were a couple instances with the choices that have been written in the game, for which you know I won't mention. But people do come like, you know, why Clementine would never do that? Why why would they write that in? Or yeah. how is that an option? And I'm like, well, you know, this is the situation, you know. Just, yeah. But for the most part, the fans of Clem are just like 100 percent awesome, and I get nothing but amazing support for it. So yeah, after 204, I got tons of like, you are so mean. Like, yeah, why are you so mean? To, why do you hate Clem? And I'm like, I, I love Clem. You know, <laughs> but I don't know that, you know, Kenny in that situation is all that excited. It's but like I'm the scene him. from, um, oh God, Ricky Gervais, the extras. Yeah. Where mm. he meets Sir Ian McKellen. Yeah. Sorry, the Gandalf thing. Look it up, people, on YouTube. Oh, God, please do. Or, you know, buy you that episode and support tour. that oh, content, hey. probably, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Don't go get the illegal bootlegs out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next, then, guys? Um, 
I mean, it's like <laughs> you. Nothing we can it, talk it, about. It, okay, okay. Yeah. I guess that's fine then. If you want to leave it at that. I mean, it's one of those things where they've brought in all these guys. These these like scab workers, these Scott Porters, these Christine Lakins, yeah. these, yeah. <laughs> these LA types coming up to steal oh. your jobs. So we right? never meet. Right. So yeah, we I never meet. Yeah. But no, like you guys are part of like the Telltale players, right? Like you all do so many different things mm. in different Telltale games. Yeah, this is we've had both a long, very long, long history. Yeah, hopefully that from perseveres. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm a huge fan of Game of Thrones. Yeah. And I, I of course. Oh, we're send, stumping now. All right. Send yeah. forth my auditions, but you know. As do I. <laughs> Say John Snow. John Snow. There you go. See, Damn I would it. never book that role. Though. I can't do that accent. My auditions for Game of Thrones are. I literally have yeah. like. I have one accent. You look from anybody from the south. Anyone from the south. (laughs) Where are the southerners? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, no. So, I mean, I'm just saying. If I was just like some character that walked by in the background and was like, I don't know, and then died, I'd be psyched. Yeah. Ditto. (laughs) Well, ladies and gentlemen, The Walking Dead, the game from Telltale Games is about to wrap up soon. Yeah. All right. Soon. That's all they got to say about soon. it. So That's soon. all we can say. We don't know. You're making the game. I, yeah. No. <laughs> I have like so very little to do with anything. Yeah. People ask me, I'm like, I don't ask for exactly this reason. Yeah, but all we do, we are very happy to be working on it together. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are actually very good friends in real life. Oh, so yeah, we're, we're total best friends. She's my best friend. Best friends best forever. Friends. Yeah. BFFs. So it's BFFs. cool to have this experience with you. Oh, God, I love you. <laughs> this is why they brought you in together. You guys like yeah. each other. Just so we you start and Dave crying. Fenoy? No, yeah. yeah. Ladies everybody and gentlemen, loves Dave Fenoy. everybody loves Dave Fenoy. He should be Ezekiel, right? Tweeted Robert Kirkman and Tom. Totally. We do that all the time. Uh, everybody, guess what? When The Walking Dead ends, we'll have a review here on IGN Wikis for your help and plenty to discuss. So make sure you keep coming back to IGN for everything about video games and more specifically, playing dead. <laughs>